All right, boys, have a seat. We need to talk about two players in today's video. Cristiano Ronaldo, which I know we talked about before, but some new news have come out with this player, and Frankie de Jong from Barcelona, who could possibly be on his way to Chelsea. So let's dive into this. Welcome back to the Upper 90 YouTube channel, where we talk about the best team in London, Chelsea, who happen to be one of the teams that right now have, have no clue exactly what they're doing with this transfer window. Yes, we have just signed Raheem Sterling, so bravo, we finally got our first sign, but really, we have no direction where we're going right now, which is kind of comical, but also frustrating as a fan. Now, that being said, though, we are talking about two players that we are kind of linked to. Currently, Christian Ronaldo will start with him, which because... Manchester United have just come out saying that they actually will be selling this player, this transfer window. They've come to some type of term with Ronaldo, realizing they cannot keep this player this upcoming season, which again is not too surprising with how poorly Manchester have been as of lately, and therefore Ronaldo wants to go to a team where he will be playing in the Champions League. Now, I know we mentioned this before, there are not too many teams out there that right now would want to buy Cristiano Ronaldo. Chelsea obviously is one of them. And I would say Real Madrid's probably the only other club option. Maybe Bayern Munich, because if Robert Lewandowski does go, Ronaldo could possibly go there. But that is a big if. So that really leaves Real Madrid and Chelsea. Now, I know with Chelsea, the big question mark on this is that he will not be a long-term fix for us currently with our number nine role. I know that. You don't have to tell me that. But again, if you want to, comment down below. But he would be at least a fix for the next season, which as of right now, we need someone who can score goals. And we've seen Ronaldo do this time and time again in the Premier League. So again, this itself will at least help us into this season. And then hopefully next season, we can find someone then to plug into our number nine role. Because like I said, our transfer strategy right now is just all over the place. And so if we can get maybe Ronaldo on the lower salary, which again is a big thing because 800000 per week is way too high for us at Chelsea. So if we can bring it maybe down to 400 350 that would again be perfect for this player for at least a one-year contract. I think Ronaldo would be happy with that as well because again, if we don't, fingers crossed, we don't. Um, fall out of the top four, we can still play in Champions League. But if we do fall out, then Ronaldo can then go on to another club. So again, who knows exactly how that will play out. Now, the bigger news, though, is with Barcelona, Frankie de Jong, that he possibly be, could be on his way to Chelsea. Now, there were a lot of links with him going to Manchester United, but it seems that Chelsea have just raised up a little bit and said, you know what, we should go for this player. And I'm actually curious about this because the reason why is that Frankie de Jong can play in multiple roles in the midfield. Now, I know he's not exactly the best CDM, but he can play as a CDM. And I know we've been linked to Declan Rice, but that most likely will not happen this transfer window. And I'm not too sure if it will happen in the next transfer window. So we need to find a CDM. And Frankie de Jong could be that player. Now, I know at 25 years old, you could say he's not the best CDM, but still, he can fit into that role. And I think he can still grow as that player. Because as we've seen in the league as of lately, a CDM plays a massive role. Fabinho at Liverpool, again, has just been massive. We just see Manchester City go out and buy another player, even though Rodri has been one of the better players. They bought Kelvin Phillips. So again, the CDM role has become more and more important, and this will give Thomas Tuchel the capability to actually change his formation from pretty much a five in the back to four in the back with the CDM, whether he goes a 4-3-3 or something along those lines of 4 one 2 one 2 Personally, that's my favorite formation, but still, this gives us the option to do different things, which again will allow us to move certain players around because as of lately, our formation hasn't been working. I know Thomas Tuchel had said that this is what he wanted to do because of the players he had, but if he's able to bring in certain players and change the formation to, again, possibly a 4-3-3, this could be huge for our club because that not only gives us a better option attacking-wise, but again, it opens up a lot more chances for different players to step in. Now, again, I need to talk about our midfield with Frankie de Jong. If he were to come, this would be very difficult because then we have Conte, we have Kovacic, we have Jorginho, Conor Gallagher, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Mason Mount, and then Frankie de Jong. That is seven midfielders currently, and I'm probably missing one, which I'm sorry, whoever that player is. But still, that alone is just way too many midfielders to have. And so if this were to happen, I would think that Jorginho would be most likely the player to go out, and he'd most likely go to Juventus. 
And I, I hate to say it, but again, that would probably be the best route for this club because Kovacic, I think, is our best midfielder. Yes, Conte, when he's fully fit and healthy, can be the best player. But overall, I think Kovacic is still the better player as of lately. Now, the other thing we need to talk about then is if we do get Frankie de Jong, this could also open up the door then for Mateus de Ligt from Juventus due to the fact that he is another Dutch player and these guys played together in Ajax. So again, this could also help us sign him because we still need to sign a defender. We have not done that. So maybe if we bring Frankie de Jong to Chelsea, that will open the doors up for some of our defenders that we're trying to get. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that and I will see you next time.